Hello, my name is Jason. Welcome to my channel, Small Optics. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at better if I got it in my hand, we're going to be looking at um, a modified Acromat. Uh, these are standard eyepieces that are provided with uh, a lot of Skywatcher telescopes actually, and it's the 25 we're talking about. Now in general, these are really good eyepieces for the, the, the price, they're a budget eyepiece, but they perform really well. But they do have uh, a little problem with them, and that is they're made of plastic, okay? Now, don't worry, there's one thing I'm not, is an equipment snob, okay? There's nothing wrong with plastic, but the problem with plastic is it's very hard to get paint to stick to it. And that uh, leads to very shiny reflective surfaces, okay? And um, the problem is with shiny surfaces, what that does, it will cause actually bad contrast or low contrast in the actual image. So in this video, what I'm going to do is we're going to be dismantling one of these, okay? Now, don't worry, okay? I'm going to take you through it step by step, all right? And you can treat this video in two step, in, in, in two ways. You can either uh, treat it as, you know, you're going to follow me and uh, do this mod, or you can just simply use it as an educational video of uh, how your eyepiece is actually constructed. So what I'll do now is we'll bring the camera a little bit closer in and uh, show you what you're going to need and exactly how to do this uh, little mod. Now, these are the things you're going to need, uh, apart from your eyepiece, obviously. Um, you don't need, this is a glue stick, you don't need a glue stick, but something roughly this shape, okay? Because what that's going to do is, it, as long as it fits inside the uh, the eyepiece and he's just a slightly bit uh, taller than the eyepiece just something like that is ideal obviously use it you want it either plastic or something like that if, if it is metal that you're using make sure you put some kind of protection over the top here because this is going to be resting on the actual uh, lens of the eyepiece okay so um, another the other thing you're going to need is a permanent marker Okay, uh, these sharpies are perfect um, for, for what we're going to need it for. Um, a little bit of, this is a little tiny piece, I know, but it, it, in fact, this is, this is okay. I mean, this is, this is all you need. This is just a little bit of sandpaper, glass paper, whatever you want to call it. Okay, uh, just a, a normal medium grade. Okay, you don't want it too coarse. All right, just, just you know, like a nail file uh, sort of uh, roughness. Um, and a latex glove. Now, this is optional. Uh, you can either wear one of these or not. And it's just purely to keep your finger marks off the lens because we are going to be totally uh, dismantling it. Um, but if you've got a lens cleaning kit and you don't mind cleaning your lenses afterwards, then by all means, do it that way. Okay, then, let's get started. Um, I'm not going to bother with a glove for this, um, Just, I think it'll just get in the way at, at the minute. So uh, what we'll do first, we'll just put all these to one side and we'll just start dismantling the eyepiece. Now, like I say, just follow me step by step and you'll be fine. Right, first thing, we're going to take off the main barrel part, alright, just put that to one side. Now if you look inside your eyepiece, you will see that there's like a a piece that's inside, uh, like a cylinder in a cylinder, if you like, and uh, and it's got two notches on either side, all right? Now, there to get some kind of tool in there, turn it anti-clockwise, and it will remove this inner liner, okay? Now, this is per purely to hold the lenses in, all right? Now, you may need to use something like, uh, I don't know if I've got one handy, yeah, I've got one over here, something like a flat-headed screwdriver, something like that, just to... Uh, start it off okay it may be a little bit bit tight uh, don't do that and rip your hands off or something <laughs> obviously be a little bit more careful than that uh, but we start it off like that all right now anti-clockwise now when you're turning this we're going to totally remove this make sure that you, you you're turning with the eyepiece this way around all right don't do it like this all right otherwise you're going to have an accident <laughs> all right so this is the first step is to totally remove that inner in a piece like that, okay? Put that to one side for the time being. Now this is where you're gonna need your 
uh, glue stick or whatever you're going to be using. All right, now gently place it inside the eyepiece, all right, and then turn the entire thing over as one. And then what you want to do is just gently, you may have to just gently tap the side of the eyepiece like that, and then just lift it up. Okay. Just like that. And this is going to reveal the entire uh, lens system. Okay. Now you're just left with an empty tube here. So just put that to one side for the time being. And that's a good idea now to maybe take a photograph of this. Okay, as it is uh, um, in this position, then if you do have an accident or anything like that and you do knock it over, you know how it's going to go back together. But if you just follow me through this video, don't worry, I'll show you exactly how it goes back together. Now, mine might be assembled a little bit different to yours because I've already modded this, all right, and I remember, I don't know if I lost a piece or I had to add a piece or what. So just, just remember the order that yours is going to come off in okay so first of all we have a double lens all right just like that put that to one side nice and safe somewhere now you may or may not have another spacer here all right if not you'll just have this one spacer okay we take that over as you can see i've got this additional piece here you may not have that i'm not right sure Okay, so that's that. And then finally, you're just left with one lens, just like that. Okay, and you can see why now we, we, we use this method. It just keeps your fingers off the lens. It keeps everything nice and organized when you're removing the uh, lens system. Okay, first stage of the uh, hack or mod, whatever you want to call it. We'll just put those to one side for a minute. Now, if you look on uh, the bit that this is your lens, we'll call this the lens spacer. This is the one that these were attached to, okay? And this is the one that come out, the, the slightly taller one we'll call the, uh, the lens holder, okay? Now, if you look on the inside of yours, you will notice that it's very shiny, okay? And this is, th this is what we need to correct, all right? And the way we take this shininess off is with our piece of sandpaper or glass paper, whatever you want to call it. Okay? And all you do is you just place it inside the tube like that and then go round it a few times. All right? Just, just, just enough just to take it and so it makes it all dull inside. Okay? Now, do this outside. All right? Don't be tempted to do this where you are, where you're working, where you've uh, disassembled all this. Because, trust me, if you get one speck of dust that's in between this lens system like that, that, that little speck of dust will become magnified and it, to the size of something like a pea. <laughs> okay? You'll just have this big black shadow at every, on everything you look at. And obviously, you're going to have to take it all apart again and uh, make sure you're a little bit more careful. <laughs> okay, so do this sanding down way out of the way of, of where you're going to be, uh, where your lenses are. Okay. Now, once you've done that one, you want to do exactly the same to this one. All right. You just go around. As you can see, mine's already dull on the inside. Yours will be shiny like this on the outside. The outside doesn't matter. All right. Because that's obviously against trapped against the wall. So you don't see any of that. It's just this inside part that we need to take that shine off. Okay. And that is basically all you have to do to these two um, these two components, all right? And then maybe give these a rinse under the tap or even a, a, a white with some white spirit or whatever, just, just to get any dust off them, okay? So that's that part done. Now, going on to the lenses, if you look at mine, you'll notice that mine have got black blackened edges okay yours won't have all right and this is something else we're going to correct okay um now when you when you pay a little bit more for eyepieces all this blackened and this matting is already done for us all right and this is why we pay a little bit extra because there's a little bit more extra work gone into the eyepiece and obviously the, the probably better quality glass as well but we can do we can um sort this out just simply with, with a marker pen all right and color in the edges of the lens now I'm, i'll just show you with this one i've got i've got a big lens here okay just one i've got happens to have kicking around this is what yours will look like uh just just plain um 
I hope to bring it closer to the camera, did not I? That's better, isn't it? Yours will be just plain uh, glass like that, like ground glass. But if if you were to look at the edge of um, one of these lenses, the profile is something like this, okay? This is a little bit exaggerated. Just like that, okay? And these little chamfers on the side of what we want to colour first, okay? So what you do is you, you go around the edge first, handle, the, handle your pen at 45 degrees like that, and then just go round all the edges like this first, all right? Take your time with it, be a little bit careful. Uh, you want to do that on both sides, all right? Just hold your pen. The, the, um, if you just press a little, you know, with, with a fair bit of pressure, you'll find that the pen will go round uh, the, the, it'll follow the, the edge of the lens anyway, it'll be a lot, you know, a lot easier. And then after you've done that on both sides, oh, make sure that you do it at, you know, at least two, three coats, all right? You want as many as you can be bothered to do, really. Um, and same uh, when you come to colour it in. And then you're just going to colour the entire lens in then, okay? And just like that, do a little bit of stages at a time, let it dry, Okay, and then do another coat, like, you know what I mean? Just just go around it all. Uh, like I say, five, six coats, something like that. And that is basically the hack done. So, now, the reason we do this, I'll just point out, the reason why we want these uh, blackened edges, it's just the way light acts as it uh, goes through a lens. Whenever you, whenever you put light through a lens, you're going to lose a little bit of light as it scatters out around the edges. And blackening the edges like this will just uh, reduce that a little bit. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, what we've got to do now is put the uh, eyepiece back together. And all we do that, all we do to do that, is reverse the process okay so we put our tube down okay obviously make sure your lenses are clean and all this like before ah something I might point out before we uh, do that if you uh, so you know which way round these lenses go back all right it is important that if you get these wrong it won't work if you look uh, edge on at the lenses you'll notice that they belly out uh, more on one side than the other okay uh, on both lenses and uh, easy way to remember which way around they go is belly to belly okay just make sure the bellies are, are like sort of pointing towards each other and um, that's the way they need to go okay and the single one you'll notice that one's like kind of stuck together if you look at it the single one's on the bottom and the double one goes on the top all right so we make sure we're right way around and we just simply reverse the process. So, like I said, I've put my fingers all over these. I'll be cleaning these later. You'll be a little bit more careful. Um, so we put the single on first. Okay, and then we need his lens spacer. So we put that on next. All right. Now, like I say, you may or may not have this additional little spacer. Uh, if not, just like I say, just refer back to your photographs so you know which way round they go put that on there there we go need a steady hand for this <laughs> and then finally your double lens okay and that goes on the top of all like that now all you do then is get your tube okay and carefully go over and just drop your tube back into place like that all right then Again, make sure everything's as one, all right? Hold everything as one, turn it over. And now you've done with this, okay? You put that to one side. Now, when you're in this position, all right, it's probably a good idea just to give the eyepiece just a little tap like that. Um, and that is just to make sure that they're seated back in uh, where, where they should be. Okay, and then all we've got to do now is place that back in like that. Screw it down. Now, the, how much you screw this down is important also. Don't go cranking it down, okay? Because with these being plastic constructed, you, you know, you're liable to crack something, break something. You only need to tighten it down as much as it's to stop the lenses from rattling, okay? So if I just, you can see that that's not quite tight enough. 
and then just a little nip, and I mean only a little bit of a nip, just to make everything nice and secure. And there you go. All you've got to do now is place your um, barrel back on. And there you go, you've successfully modded your modified Acromat. Please bear in mind that um, this, this mod does, um, does improve contrast, but you're not going to see masses amounts of difference, you know what I mean? It's not going to like, you know, all of a sudden it looks like you've got a new eyepiece. Uh, but where it will come into play is, is it, it's things like star clusters and some of the brighter nebula. You'll see that they just pop that little bit better. Well, that about wraps it up for another video. Uh, don't forget, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, maybe that thumbs up button because it really does help the channel. In the meantime, take great care of yourselves and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.